Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this uh, function equation as you can see over here, f of x plus f of one over one minus x equals to x. And now we are going to find what is f of x is going to be equal to. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and write down this function equation. I'm going to call this equation as number one. And now we are going to manipulate this equation one to get our desired results. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and replace x by one over one minus x in this equation one. So therefore, our equation one could be written as f of one over one minus x and then plus f of one over one minus, uh, I'm going to replace this x by this one over one minus x. So I can write one divided by one minus x and then equals to, I am going to replace this x by one over one minus x as well. And now let's focus on the denominator, this part, one minus one over one minus x. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and uh, simplify this one. I can write this one as one over one and I can then crisscross to simplify these fractions. So this could be written as one minus x and then minus one divided by one times one minus x by just multiplying these uh, denominators and we can see this negative one and one is gone so we got negative x over one minus x and now let's go ahead and multiply top and bottom by a negative sign to remove these negative signs so on the top that is going to give us negative and negative become positive x divided by this is written as x and then minus one. So let's revert back our attention to this equation f of one over one minus uh, x plus uh, f of, we can write this, I can replace this part by this one. So I can write this one one over x divided by x minus one equals to one over one minus uh, x. So therefore we can write f of one over one minus x and then plus f of this whole thing. I can use this rule and it could be written as uh, x minus one divided by x equal to one over one minus x. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number two. And here's our next step. This time we are going to replace x by x minus one divided by x in this equation one. So therefore our equation one is written as f of x minus one divided by x and then plus f of one divided by one minus. Now I'm going to replace once again this x by this part. So I can write x minus one divided by x equal to once again this x I'm going to replace it by this one. So this would be written as x minus one divided by x. And now let's focus on this denominator part one minus uh, x minus one over x. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and simplify this one. I can write this one as one over one and let's simplify these fractions. Let's go ahead and use the crisscross method once again. So if we crisscross, so this is going to be x and then minus uh, this is going to become 
negative x and then negative and negative become positive 1 divided by 1 times x is going to give us x and now x and x this negative x gone so we got 1 over x so therefore our this function equation could be written as f of x minus 1 over x and then plus f of 1 divided by this part I am going to replace it by 1 over x and then equal to simply x minus 1 divided by x so let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so this could be written as f of x minus 1 divided by x plus uh, this could be written as f of x by using this rule equals to x minus 1 divided by x and now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number three and here's our next step let's go ahead and add these two equations one and three and then subtract two from them so let me go ahead and write down equation one first f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equal to x and then I'm going to add this equation 3 which is f of x minus 1 divided by x plus f of x equals to x minus 1 divided by x and then I'm going to subtract this equation 2 so I'm going to change the sign so that's going to become a negative f of 1 over 1 minus x and then minus f of x minus 1 divided by x equal to negative sign of this one 1 over 1 minus uh, x and now we can see that this uh, f of x minus 1 over x and this negative f of x minus 1 over x is gone so this f of 1 over 1 minus x minus uh, f of 1 over 1 minus x is gone as well so therefore on the left hand side this thing we simply got f of x and then plus f of x is going to become 2 times f of x equal to on the right hand side I'm going to put down this x plus this x minus 1 divided by x and now let's focus on this part this could be written as 1 over negative and 1 minus x so this is same as writing 1 over x minus 1 so therefore I can replace this one by this one I can write plus 1 over x minus 1 and here's our final step let's go ahead and solve for f of x but before that one we are going to simplify these fractions on the right hand side and here I have copied down this right hand side and x could be written as x over 1 I make, can make it a fraction and now let's go ahead and find the least common denominator LCD or sometimes we call it LCM so the LCD is going to be simply look at the denominators this 1 this x and this x minus 1 so our least common denominator is going to be simply x times x minus 1 so therefore this could be written as this fraction as x times x times x minus 1 and then divided by x times x minus 1 and then plus uh, x minus 1 and then I'm going to multiply x minus 1 top and bottom 
so this could be written as divided by x time x minus 1 and finally on this one I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x so this become x divided by x time x minus 1 and now let's go ahead and simplify on the numerator so this could be written as x power 3 minus uh, x square divided by x time x minus 1 and over here if we distribute these one double distribution that's going to give us x square minus uh, 2x plus 1 divided by x time x minus 1 and then finally plus x over x time x minus 1 and now let's go ahead and write this one as a common denominator x time x minus 1 at the denominator on the top this could be written as x power 3 minus x square and then plus x square minus 2x plus 1 and then plus uh, x and now we can see that this uh, negative x square and positive x square is gone and now let's combine the like terms on the top so that is going to give us x power 3 minus x and then a plus 1 divided by x time x minus 1 so thus our this equation simply become 2 times f of x equal to this right hand side I am going to replace it by this simplified form so this is x power 3 minus x and then plus 1 divided by x times x minus 1 and now let's multiply both sides by 1 over 2 to isolate f of x I'm going to multiply a 1 over 2 on this side this 2 and 1 over 2 is gone so we ended up with simply f of x turns out to be simply x power 3 minus x and then plus 1 divided by 2 times x times x minus 1 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye